Jefferson looked at him and said, Mr. President, no offense, but you're destroying what we've created. It's immoral to have this debt. That's one of the reasons why Thomas Jefferson went and came in and paid off that debt. He ran for president really almost against his will um, because he thought it was being destroyed. Um, we, have, we have done exactly what Jefferson warned us against by following Alexander Hamilton's uh, example, and it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Yeah, we keep hearing people defending the debt, even some economists. Oh, you know, debt's not, you know, people say well, debt's it's bad. Not, but, you know. I mean, here's the thing. It's not bad if you understand it. It's, right. it's not bad. I mean, do you have debt? I have hardly any debt, Okay, but do, you, do, you owe, do you owe for your house? No. Oh. We pay for our house. Sorry. <laughs> I did have a mortgage on my last... Okay. Uh, do you have credit cards? Any credit cards? Yeah. You own your, you own your cars? Yes. Okay. I'm a bad example. Wow. Okay. Well, that, that's a, I'm very anti-debt. She's anti -debt. a free. I'm very anti-debt. That's the thing. Good. I really don't Good. like debt. Okay. I feel like if but you can't is... pay for it now, what makes you think you can pay for it later? But obviously, Everybody... a mortgage is fine. Right, right, right. And mortgage and your cars and stuff, that's fine. What, what people um, have been convinced by the government is that um, uh, debt is fine. And debt is fine, but not the way they define it. Look, everybody needs a house. You, you probably can't go and, you know, there's my <laughs> bags over here. You probably can't go out and just go out and buy a house. Right. Um, and so you need to finance that. That's fine. But here's the secret that you know that they just leave out. At some point, you can't pay for that debt. Now, the bank tells you, and they look at you and say, okay, <laughs> You would, you'd never be able to pay this off. You couldn't make the payments. And so we generally don't get into too much trouble. The government, they answer to themselves. They just keep issuing more debt to themselves and more debt to themselves. It's like being your own banker and a current drinking alcoholic. It makes no sense. That's why debt, we've passed the point to where we can pay it off. Right. We, in 20... 80, Grash, is it 2080 or 2060? The debt will be one quadrillion dollars. By 2019, remember, this is, we're now talking 10 years from now, 2019, the interest alone, just on the debt we have, no new debt, just on what we have, will be one trillion dollars a year for the interest. Yeah. Where's that coming from? Yeah. And they figure, you know, these guys will be out of office or dead by the time, you know, by the time this whole sure. debt thing nobody gets... wants to face it. And yeah. look, it, there, there is there's there's one thing to be said. Again, the debt is not a problem if you grow yourself out of it. Right. If you, for instance, if you're a business person and you say, you know what, this is risky, but I'm going to take this because it'll push my company to the next level, and then it'll open up and I'll be able to pay that. That's a big risk, mm -hmm. but some people do it and. It works, right. okay? We're not in that. We're not spending on things that will push us to the next level. We're fixing toilets and doorstops and windows, and that ain't going to do anything. Finger in the dike. Uh, light bulbs. That's. Oh, wait until you see what we have on, on Monday. Can't what talk about it now, but light bulbs, good. Okay. Uh, we have a question about uh, when is something going to be done about the unions? What about doing a special covering what the unions got from the auto industry and how the unions really work? Grash? <laughs> I'd love to do that. Could we do something on just, you know, could we do a series on the unions yeah. and what they got and how they're involved and everything else? Yes. Yeah, I, I, I love that idea. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, a lot of that. Midweek next week. Mid, okay. mid, 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 midweek next week, Gresh says. Yeah, yeah. I love that. Uh, you already answered that one about uh, the uh, Democrats. Okay, never mind. You um, know, I, I'd, I'd, I'd love to ask you to please be involved in the show and let us know. I, I mean, I really, um, you know, to be real honest with you, um, I think Stephen Colbert is funny. I think all these people are funny, um, but there's there's a there's a trend now of questioning my um, integrity on whether or not I believe these things. I don't have have people in New York or people in the media not met met people who actually believe in what they say. Have uh, they? I have to tell you, I get it all the time. Everywhere I go now, people say, so what's the deal with that Glenn Beck? Is he for real or is he just full of it? People don't even believe that somebody could be sincere and earnest. And, of course, I tell them that. He's really <laughs> total, total fraud. <laughs> it's all the tear machine. Uh, yeah. You know. I mean, I, you know, it's really sad. And I understand it. You know, you make fun of me crying and everything because, I mean, I, I'm like 90% chick. I get that. But I... I, I, I... It saddens me that we are in a place in our country now where somebody can't believe something deeply. 
love it and care for it and then show that um, you know just by being real yeah. um, and uh, you know it is. It, it's sad that I get the question so much. I can tell everybody who's listening, honestly, he is for real. And in the meetings, he gets just as emotional as he gets on camera. And uh, the talk will be about, well, let's do this segment. This this could be good for ratings or whatever. But then Glenn will be like, well, this will be good for the, momen the momentum of the project. And this will keep the young people involved. And he's not talking about the younger demo for the show. He's talking about the movement. That's really really what you care about yeah. more than the show. Well, we talked ratings, about something so. off air that we'll hopefully be able to announce. we got to wrap it up. Oh. Hopefully you have to announce it. We'll be able to announce it here in the next month or so. But I think we just did something today uh, with the 912 project that is remarkable. Um, and uh, I think it's, um, guys, it's becoming a movement. And it's yours. It's your voice. Um, so use it. Stay involved. Stay involved with the show. Help us know what to do. I, I started to say that, I, you know, people don't, uh, think that I'm sincere, fine, whatever. Um, I am, um, and I am concerned. I, I really do, honestly, there are nights that I lose sleep at night because I'm like, I can't, what am I missing? So please stay involved with the show. Write us, tell us, Glenn, if you would just do more of this story or if you would highlight this or like the unions. I'm trying to wake enough people up and I really, I'm to the point to where I'm like, I, I don't know what else you need. What else do your neighbors need? You're awake. What is it that they need to get awake? What, what is it that you're saying, no, 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 to your neighbor. You don't understand. Help me. Help them understand what's going on. Patty Ann. Patty Ann. A round of applause for the nice Patty Ann. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Don't miss tomorrow's uh, special on uh, Friday at 5 o'clock. Uh, it's uh, <laughs> it's well, it's it's television suicide, but <laughs> I think you'll really enjoy it. See you then. Bye, folks. <laughs>